A pair of lawmakers say the evidence is there that medical marijuana should be used to treat opioid addiction. But the governor's Department of Health secretary won't let it happen. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe with more. Yeah, well, Kim, twice now, the state's Medical Cannabis Advisory Board has recommended that the Secretary of Health add opioid addiction to the list of conditions treatable by medical marijuana. But nothing has changed. It started with a petition several years ago by Anita Briscoe, a nurse from Española, who says patients told her they were able to kick a heroin addiction thanks to medical marijuana. In response to her petition and research on the issue, the board of eight doctors recommended in both 2016 and 2017 that opioid use disorder qualify as a condition treatable by medical marijuana. Health Secretary Lynn Gallagher, however, hasn't added it. Now Senator Jeff Steinborn and Representative Joanne Ferrari, both Las Cruces Democrats, are sponsoring memorials to persuade Gallagher. It's past time that the secretary do this. People are dying every day in the state of New Mexico from opioid abuse, and medical marijuana has proven to be a safer treatment um, for any underlying conditions, and certainly, hopefully, to step people down from opioid addiction into something safer that won't kill them. Now, memorials don't change the law. This is more of a call to action. Steinborn and Ferrari believe that if Gallagher sees the majority of the legislatures behind the idea, she'll finally get on board. Last year, Republican Representative Nate Gentry did try to change the law to include opioid addiction as a treatable condition, and despite bipartisan support, the governor vetoed it. Now, in response to our story today, the Department of Health told us in part that it's taking a comprehensive approach to fighting opioid addiction like making naloxone more widely available. Naloxone is typically used in overdoses. We do have that full statement from the Department of Health on our website, krqe.com. Kim? Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, New Mexico has almost 48,000 medical marijuana users. Currently, there are 21 medical conditions that qualify for the program.